Okay, welcome to Pittsburgh Comics. We're going to go in and see what Colin's doing today. Coming in. This is where the new graphic novels are placed every week, right next, side of the, right next to the door when you come in. And if you come in and turn right away to the side, there's some kids' books and some magazines, new magazines on the top. Uh, there's a new display right here. There's a Jonathan Hickman Fantastic Four and Hickman display from last week. It's going to be changed up pretty soon. Come over this way, and we have a marble rack. All your favorite heroes, trade paperbacks. Come over to this rack, and you see what was new last week. So if you missed anything, we know exactly where it is, hopefully. And here's the counter. Colin's hiding behind the counter doing something. Not quite sure what he's doing. <laughs> Looking for something. There's the rack of brightest day, because there's 8 million of them. I'll cover this way. Up on the front counter, we've got what's new this week, Colin's Picks of the Week, cool stuff that you should be reading. New previews came out, absolutely free at Pittsburgh Comics, you should come and grab one. And here's the amazing selection of lead figures, these are the Marvels. And we'll swing around this way, those are the DCs over there, plus some statues. And some display books, let me back up a little bit so we get a better... Look at some of the display books here. Neon lights. More statues and busts. Just about every graphic novel and hardcover you could ever imagine and ever want. And trust me, I've just done inventory, so I know. <laughs> so if you're looking for something, it's probably all stuck in my brain, just let me know. Some of the eight... How many, uh, how many bookshelves do you have, Colin? How many bookshelves? Yeah, of trade paperbacks. Three, four, seven, twelve, fifteen. Fifteen tra uh, bookshelves packed to the gills with trade paperbacks, plus all these racks. Here's the DC rack. We have a Superman shelf, a Batman shelf, a Green Lantern shelf. Um, some Vertigo stuff on the other side. The feature on the gondola is the art books right at the moment. And how to draw some toys. And think, we haven't even gotten into the other room yet. Some gaming stuff. Another Fantastic Four display. I know this is probably whipping by really quick, but. Probably, oh, Pat, I'm getting dizzy. Don't do this. Oh. Alright, now we're going into the other room. We're going through the back door. Yeah. There's some t shirts. And there's some great toy, toy selection. Great discount toy selection on a lot of them and back issues. And we have about 150 to 200 boxes more in the basement that I've been processing when the weather's not freezing cold and when I can get down the stairs. And hopefully we'll have the, a lot of those out soon. Um, come over this way is the gaming selection. We've got uh, all kinds of role-playing games, board games, uh, Munchkin, K pardon me, Shea Cthulhu, Settlers of Catan, Zombie Flux. Awesome. Over here we start the new comic rack. And new comic rack stretches all the way down the wall. See, I'm still going. There's still new comics. It's a crazy. Look at that. Well, that's a, what a great shot. Look at that. New comics over there near the door. Some more toys over this way. And I'll walk slowly over this way so you get a good idea. These are the DC statues. Some of the interlocking ones and the busts up behind them. And ah, Colin's home. He's hey, appeared over here. I get over here. Some discount busts and statues that we had extra of. There's some bargain things on the floor. Very cheap, ten for a buck. Great selection of stuff. And these boxes are collections that we've just priced, processed. A lot more to come great selection. Like I said, there's about 150 to 200 boxes in the basement that will be coming up eventually <laughs> as we get to them. If you ever get around to yeah, it. Yeah, if I ever get around to it. And we're getting stuff up on eBay, so. Yeah, stuff. Oh, look, Colin's got the, got the laptop going, got the drivers working, got the scanner. It's like we're in the 20th century, even though we're in the 21st. It's crazy. And uh, here's the radio. All right. <laughs> so, nice radio. That's the tour of 
Pittsburgh Comics. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will be back soon with some comic profiles. Bye.